Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm talking about what growth feels like and um, this was inspired by yesterday. I was doing some personal development work and I was asking myself like what some of my biggest fears are. And the first one that came up for me was regret. Like exiting out of this life and feeling like I didn't leave it all on the table, right? And a lot of this came from marathon running, right? I'd be on mile four or mile eight or 11 or 21. And it's like, leave it all on the course because later you're going to be sitting around watching a movie, eating whatever. And you, you don't want to look back and be like, dang it, dude, I could have pushed harder on mile eight. I was like being so lax right then, you know, and today I have just had this like, this fire. I don't know. Maybe it was because I was thinking about that yesterday, but I woke up. I was like, I've been like super disciplined, getting my shit done, doing my morning routine, meditating, getting over to the gym, being very disciplined with my time management and really, really pushing myself, leaving it all on the table in there. And holy cow, like I feel like I can bar barely talk right now because like my nervous system is just like, I was like walking out like, oh, <laughs> lots of swear words. <laughs> Right. And I was like, dang, dude, I have not been pushing this intensity level in the gym. And there happened to be some dude in there. I've never seen him before. And he was like super jacked and ripped. And he, I was like, it was interesting because I was watching him and he was just like that in that mode. Right. Like he was not on his phone. He was not wasting time. He was not half assing it. He was going ham. Right. And he got a lot of volume in, a lot of sets in, in the a period of time that I saw him here. And I was doing the same thing. Right. And I thought, man, like, it's so important to have these moments where we have to, like, we have to wake up and, like, recommit to excellence. So, like, our bodies, our minds, they want ease, right? And there's nothing wrong with ease. But if you want to keep growing and keep getting to the next level, we, there's, like, this recommitment thing that has to happen. So, like, my question for you guys is, like, where are where have you become complacent? And usually we get complacent when we get a little bit of success, right? So we get a little success in business. I hear this all the time from people. They've made multi-millions and they're like, dang, dude, it's hard to have that hunger, right? One thing that I do is like when I start to get complacent financially, I pretend that my comfortable place financially is terrifying that I won't have the money to pay my team or pay my basic needs with that amount, right? And I like use that as a motivator to recommit me to expanding, right? Or we get a little success in our bodies and we're like, I'm good now, right? And you can feel the fire come out of you. You can feel it just, ugh, it's terrible. So recommitting, recommitting to that excellence and that growth, what it feels like is shitty. <laughs> it's like so good though. It's like this awesome shittiness, you know, when you're in the gym and you're really getting it and you know, you created a stimulus for change in your body. It freaking sucks when you're in it. Right. <laughs> if you see me at the gym, if you watch me closely, you will see so many swear words come out of my mouth. <laughs> I always say like, you didn't get it. If you didn't drop an F bomb after your set, <laughs> it's like just ugly face, crazy intense. Right. And that's what growth feels like. And I, I, uh, the other thing I feel like growth feels like is recommitting to like efficiency and time management, right? So in the morning, are you like starting to drift into getting on your phone and reading what's happening in the world and scrolling social media? I know you've heard this before, but you really are starting your whole day in reactive mode. You are not in charge of your day anymore. Something else is. External forces are dictating how your day is going to run. Oh, now I'm thinking about this or now I'm thinking about that instead of coming into silence, coming into focus and choosing how your day is going to go. Right. And same in the gym, you know, if we're just farting around and I'm guilty of it, I am totally guilty of it. And so I, when I see I'm starting to do that, it's like, nope, <laughs> recommit, you know, I'm starting to hit the snooze. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Let's go recommit to excellence. And that, that growth is uncomfortable, but God, it's so good. There's nothing worse for me than coming out of the gym and feeling like I didn't really achieve anything in there. I didn't really get a stimulus for any change. I just went through the motions and half-assed it. It's like, did you just waste your freaking time? You might as well have stayed home and done something else, you know? So I'm um, just sharing that. I know like intensity has been a huge thing for my clients in the gym on getting results. I'd say most people in the gym, they're not, they're not even, they're like 20% of what they can do. They're like hitting a, an intensity to the level that's not even halfway to what they can do, right? And when you get to that next level, you got to keep pushing, you know? When I realized I could curl 20 and 25 pound dumbbells, I was like, oh, <laughs> I've been doing 15s for like two years. You know what I mean? So like recommit, recommit and keep pushing the edge, pushing. 
And that growth, when you're done, it's going to feel like a little bit like, whew, a little overwhelming, you know, but in a good way. So that's just my message today. <sighs> I'm going to go freaking breathe and get my nervous system calmed down, eat some food. <laughs> All right. Have a great day.